All right, everyone, welcome back into another PGA DFS video. Got the core plays here for the Fortnite Championship, which I'm pretty excited for. It's a safe way open. We've seen this tournament time in and time again, so we know which key stats to look at. We know that we're going to be able to look at course history and everything. So all in all, it should be an even keel kind of tournament in which we know how to predict it. The only struggle with it is that there's a lot of new players coming in, the Corn Ferry Tour players, which I'm perfectly fine with taking a risk as those guys, and you'll see some of those guys as sleeper picks here for me when I come out with that video. But for the most part, I'm going to be sticking with the players that I know in terms of core plays. So that's what you guys will see echoed in this video. As always, if you guys want the more in-depth version of this video, check out the picks and previews video, which is the first video that I um, come out with each week. But let's get into the core plays this week. It should be a pretty good one. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys what those four players would look like in your DFS build. So we'll get into that at the end of the video. So stay for the very end. But we'll get it kicked off here with the cover boy which is going to be John Rahm here. So John Rahm, obviously just a great staff fit. John Rahm, top staff in the field. He ranks out 35th in good drive percentage, which is his worst stat. His next worst stat is par four scoring, which he ranks sixth at everything else first. Okay, he's made eight straight cuts in a row. Um, kind of getting knocked, I guess, for the withdrawal from the Memorial Sermon, which other than that, the dude has been a stud. Okay, we don't have to worry about John Rahm as a pick. You know, I guess the worry would be that one, or let's, let's give three reasons why he might struggle. One, hasn't played this tournament in the last four years. Two, price point, I guess. He would struggle in your DFS build, which I get it. You know, if you have to pay that much, that's going to hurt the rest of your build. But there's a lot of unknowns below him, okay? So we could pretty much just be locking in a top 10 finish. And then three, he might just be using this for a tune-up week. I, you know, those are the only reasons I, I could use to, you know, potentially not play him. The price point does worry you. You could probably go Webb Simpson, who's a little bit bent. He's been a little bit more hit or miss, but probably gives you about the same top 10 upside, I guess, if you will, um, if Webb Simpson is on his game. It's a big caveat there because he has been a little bit hit or miss. Then after that, I do really like the Chez or not. Chez Revy here, guys. So I like him a lot due to the fact that he has really strong course history, top five course history in the field this week. Um, and that's mostly due to the fact that he's finished third, 33rd, uh, 33rd, and 13th. Okay, that's pretty good. Recent form rank, uh, ninth in the field. That's a lot due to the fact that when he's played well, he's played really well. And you're going to hear that again with another player that I mentioned. Um, but going back to the Travelers, 25th. Miscut the Rocket Mortgage, 18th. Um, played well at the Open Championship, 11th. Uh, miscut, and then 31st place finish. So pretty good there. Um, okay, staff it, 42nd in the field. Uh, nothing to go crazy with, but I do want to point out, just look at the chart there, guys. So I'll stop moving it so you guys can actually see it here. Um, his key stats. So second in good drive percentage. That's great. And then birdie to bug ratio, 118th in that. So he really needs to cut down on his – bogeys or potentially just needs to make more birdies i'm guessing that he's just been making too many uh, bogeys there um par four scoring 54th in that uh par five scoring hasn't been taking advantage of par fives 176 in that strokes getting to the green top 50 we like that and ball striking you know top 80 that's perfectly fine so overall if he's playing this game if he's hitting those fairways he's going to set himself up for some opportunities probably not going to make that many bogeys given the fact that he has strong course history that makes me a little bit more interested in, in him and at that price point I'm going to be playing him a decent amount. And then sticking with that theme of players that who, when they have played well, they played really well, Pat Perez. So recently, Pat Perez has made three straight cuts in a row on tour, um, but his made cuts in his last six starts, four of them have been T16 or better finishes. Okay, Pat Perez, not going to be the best out in the field, only ranks top 26 in the field, but, you know, course history ranked ninth and a 10th place finish to overall rank out top 15 in the field in course history rank. Really am hanging my hat on the top 10 finish, to be honest with you. But overall ranks out top 20 in the 9 to 5 model at this price point. That's pretty good. You get a guy that's um, projected to have a 58% chance to make the cut. I'm perfectly fine with that with him as a pick at that price point. And then going a little bit lower here into the value range, obviously, if we're trying to make John Rom work. We got to fit a value in there. And I think the kind of the clear cut value pick this week is not Jason Duffner. Let's scroll down a little bit more. Um, let me find him. If you guys watched the previous video, you already know who it is. 
Don't want to have to type them in. Did I scroll past them? I might have. Yeah, there he is. Sorry. It's going to be Cameron Piercy here, guys. So Cameron Piercy, good course history here as well. Cameron Piercy, um, 23rd and a 7th place finish. Uh, top 10 staff in the field. Top 10 in the 9 to 5 mile this week. 55% um, chance to make the cuts. Um, look at his last few starts. 37th, 34th, 42nd, 11th, 41st, and 54th. So, yeah, Cameron Piercy, just a really strong um, play at that current price point. We look at his stats. Nothing elite, but nothing too alarming. Um Pretty strong strokes gain to the green and in a ton of fairways, top 50 in birdie to boogie ratio. Honestly, you can make a strong argument that he should have been priced by Ches Reeve, given the fact that he's made his last seven cuts on tour. But let's just pull it up here. I got the nine to five lineup tool here pulled up. So just looking at that, the issue that I have with this week is that your six for six percent is going to be very low. It's very unlikely that you're going to get six for six across the cut line. So for me, I typically would grade this as a red week, not a week that you want to attack aggressively as a whole. OK, but if you do get six for six across the cut line, you're probably going to be sitting pretty, probably going to give yourself a lot of opportunities to really have a huge week in DFS. But overall, 30, 303 projected DK points from these four. Um, like I said, 66% chance to make the cut. And then the lineup salary, you should have enough left over then here to be able to make the rest of your lineup work to fill in with someone else here. And maybe, I don't know, let's just do some random guys here. Um, Patrick Rogers, pretty good there. And then sure, Hank Leviota because he's right there. Got enough left over. You got 600 left over. So not horrible. But like I said, guys, closing out, not that pretty. 61% chance to make the cut. This line, if I ever say, just threw the last two players in there. But uh, 424 fantasy projected points. So that's all right. But that's all I have for you guys for the core plays video. If you guys want to join 9 to 5 Nation, best value in PGA DFS, go ahead and do that. It's going to be $10 a month there for you guys. Link is going to be in the description below. And also have NFL DFS coverage out there for you guys. Um, you know, kind of keep it simple there. Simple approach, simple data approach. But, you know, top picks and plays each and every week for you guys there as well. That's also in the link in the description below. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, let's keep gashing.